interview on just what is next for Africa. In regards to the report we just heard earlier on on the ACP 9th summit that was hosted in Kenya by President Uhuru Kenyatta, who has now taken over as the president of this particular organization for the next three years. Now, a lot of you are wondering why we have this particular interview tonight. It is because Africa and the Pacific and, of course, the Caribbean are coming in together to improve this particular region, something that I feel and we all feel is important for the youth watching, for the Kenyan watching for whoever is watching tonight to just understand what next after this particular summit. I am joined live by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Donicio Babo Suarez, Dr. Boni uh, Donicio Babo Suarez, uh, who is the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Cooperation, Democratic Republic of Timor-Leste. He's also going to tell us more about his republic. Thank you so much for being here with us. It's a pleasure. We're honored to have you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to me as well. Um, a lot of people are, are, before we go deeper into the summit, uh, are asking, okay, we, we hardly hear about <laughs> the Democratic Republic of Timor-Leste. Before we even go deeper into why you're here in this particular conference, you could want to fa familiarize us with uh, your particular country. Uh, hi, good evening. Um, um, my name is Dionisi Babasar, it's just been said. Um, I'm the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Democratic Republic of Timor-Leste, or known as East Timor. Uh, the country is located um, only uh, 200 mi 400 miles north of uh, Darwin, Australia. So it's located between uh, Australia and in Indonesia. Um, uh, it was an historically uh, under Portuguese rule for 450 years, and then in 1975, um, we declare independence, but then uh, we had uh, some um, involvement with, with Indonesia mm -hmm. uh, for uh, 24 years, um, during which um, our resistance was waged. And uh, in 19, um, 1999, the United Nations actually stepped in and held a referendum. And, you know, 79% of the population voted to become an independent. So we are often referred to as the new, the country of the new millennium. All right. So it's a small country with 15,000 um, um, square kilometers. It has a population of 1.3 million. It's a small. I think it's only a suburb of um, Nairobi. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we are a nation. We are a member of the United Nations. And uh, we are playing uh, a very important role in the international affairs. And one of them is being part of the ACP, which brings me for the very first time uh, to Nairobi, Kenya. And I'm proud uh, to be here. We hope you're having a lovely experience. It was fantastic. It is a bit chilly <coughs> this particular season. A bit cold, of course, a rain, a heavy downpour. Right. But uh, if I'm correct, you are about to celebrate your 20th year of independence. Uh, no, we have celebrated it already. You as did? A matter of fact, okay. Yeah, in uh, May this year. Uh, it's an experience, so we... Um, have uh, tried to um, do everything we can within our um, ability to show to the world uh, mm -hmm. th the last 10 years what we have achieved. Even um, uh, uh, just um, less than a month ago, we hosted uh, uh, an international uh, SDG showcase uh, um, of SDG 16. Mm -hmm. uh, and we uh, were lucky to have a participation of about 250 people from 40 nations uh, to come and see what Timor Leste has achieved in the last 20 years. Absolutely commendable. Now, <coughs> you, you're here to represent, you know, Timor Leste and yes. the ACP. And uh, <coughs> before we even go into what the, what the co organization, organization is about, uh, how is the organization going for you as Timor Leste? Because this is to build African countries and yeah. Asian countries and Caribbean and Pacific regions. Is it working for your, for your republic, uh, for your nation in particular? Yeah, I think uh, I, since independence, uh, particularly since Timor Leste, uh, joined um, the organization uh, a couple of years ago. Um, we've been actually uh, witnessing uh, a lot of lots of developments in terms of negotiation and planning, and also um, benefiting from uh, you know some of the early establishment that they have done uh, within the context of this organization, namely the Cotonou Agreement. Right. Uh, and we think that, um, um, of course, um, uh, context. Um, uh, we've been able to um, receive some benefits 
directly uh, in, through our partnership with the European Union, mm -hmm. uh, which I think uh, is the major and strongest partner of ACP countries. And we've been uh, concentrating mainly on uh, several focused um, priorities, mm -hmm. um, such as good governance, uh, because that, that's part of the, the, the consolidation of and strengthening of institutions of our state institutions, and also um, uh, rural development mm -hmm. and decentralization, uh, and all, of course, uh, gender um, issues, which is one of the main uh, uh, concern of the world today. <coughs> Absolutely. Now, you've just mentioned EU being one of the strongest partners of ACP. However, ACP is an organization which only brings together, you yeah. know, governments of Africa, Caribbean and Pacific states and leaves out other countries, you right. know, besides the, the, the partners. Why the exclusivity? Why, well, why this? Well, the organization itself I mean, um, was established back in 1973 All right. uh, through the so-called Georgetown Declaration. Uh, I think it uh, is mi mi mirrored in, um, uh, in uh, developments, uh, particularly the reconstruction of post-war Europe through Marshall Plans and so on, which uh, of, of, of course uh, uh, at that time have brought a lot of benefits to European after the war. Okay. Uh, and and um, uh, uh, so um, what is left is that the countries in Africa, the countries in the Pacific, the countries in um, the Caribbean islands, um, which um, have not seen any development uh, around uh, th those period. Yeah, okay. So um, th that is the reason why you know this uh, so-called um, uh, Georgetown d Declaration have decided to focus more on the countries. Uh, this is about you know um, half of the population of the UN. I mean, uh, you know, of member countries of the UN. So um, and these, uh, most of these countries are countries which are endowed with so much resources, uh, abundant natural resources, but we're, we're still actually struggling, you know, right. to um, uh, be on their own feet. Uh, to uh, particularly on in terms of managing their natural resources mm -hmm. uh, and also uh, be at peace um, uh, with the development that has already taken place in other parts of the world. So it's not necessarily um, limiting itself only to these countries. Okay. But I think in the future, you know, things might develop uh, as things evolved. I like yeah. that you've mentioned that in the future because we're coming to that to just talk about what is the future like for the ACP. Right. But uh, this is the ninth summit that, that yeah, uh, was concluded uh, in a meeting themed a transformed ACP committed to multilateralism. Among yeah. other things, you people have objectives, including you know the key objective to eradicate poverty uh, and ensure sustainable development, smooth and gradual integration of the ACP states into the world economy. But anyway, the question is, how do you uh, plan to realize this among the many objectives that the ACP has, uh, of course, uh, put down to, to, to realize? Uh, I think exactly, I mean, the topic that actually was uh, brought in mm. uh, to discuss uh, is uh, focusing on these three issues that you've been mentioning about. Um, eradicating poverty and making sure that there's a sustainable uh, development taking place after that and integrating you know, um, these ACP countries into the world economy. So there's so much things to do. Uh, and I think uh, in this um, uh, meeting, uh, um, a revised version of um, the declaration, uh, Georgetown Declaration was, was introduced and um, also um, uh, uh, a, a new structure okay. um, of um, partnership uh, between uh, ACP member countries with the European U Union was restructured, mm -hmm. was introduced, and uh, that it was to enable um, uh, you know these uh, different um, uh, countries in different parts of the world to engage more directly with uh, the European Union uh, and making sure that uh, uh, they have a more strong uh, and uh, visible. Um, uh, plan as well as uh, in what they uh, w want to be, uh, you know, um, made as, as priorities okay. in, in these respective uh, regions. And that, of course, we strengthened the, 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 the collaboration, strengthened uh, the cooperation, and also, uh, you know, uh, kept focus, um, you know, the priorities in which uh, our areas are to be developed right. in uh, each of these regions. When you talk about priorities, I'm a youth and I'm sure a lot more youth are watching. Kenyatta <laughs> University is the heart of the youth. And uh, if you look at all the, you know, the, 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 the members of the ACP in those right. particular member states, the youth are still a very integral part 
of the economy across the country. Right. But now they are watching and they're asking, okay, these are heads of state, these are delegates, these are diplomats, but what is the place of the youth and what are the opportunities for the youth in the ACP uh, so far? Well, I think one of the interesting points of uh, the ACP, uh, particularly under new structure, is by focusing in the future. All right. Focusing in the future, um, this uh, so-called issue of sustainability, eradicating poverty itself, um, and uh, making, self, making sure that, uh, that uh, the growing economy can integrate into the world economic um, affairs, uh, is in itself a projection of the youth, All right. not only now, but in the future. So the involvement of the youth is very important uh, uh, so these um, actually um, um, all this whole structure actually putting the youth at the center. Um, uh, you're talking about Africa, uh, the future of Africa, the future of ACP countries, mm -hmm. the future of uh, the Caribbean country. You're talking about the future. You're not talking about today. Today is an investment, and this has been the central issue that um, uh, has been the topic of discussion throughout uh, the, 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 in the last two or three days, and. Um, the I, uh, as you might um, have, have, have looked at the, 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 the issues, the points that actually will arise, the broad in, uh, during the discussions, mm -hmm. each of these countries have um, really a think that uh, a strong investment in human capital, particularly yes. the youth, and making them aware and, and being part of uh, what is going on. And, uh, and, and then also expose them to all developments that are taking place in the world today, uh, particularly engaging them, mm -hmm. not only in the process, but also uh, in the um, decision making at some stage is very important is is it's very much encouraged and, uh, and and I think I'm very glad to to, to hear about that and uh, that there's a strong desire among the leaders mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, if you listen to the president of um, Kenya uh, who has been elected uh, as the leader um, the leader of ASP for the next three years I mean he's very much um, committed uh, to these um, uh, development in the next three years, including uh, the involvement of the youth, mm -hmm. uh, uh, so that you know um, ACP can continue and 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 also um, have an, a strong basis, a strong foundation uh, to develop itself in, in the future. I think when you mention what His Excellency uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta emphasized and re-emphasized and always reiterates is something in line with the Big Four agenda and of course yeah, the Vision yes. 2030. Having the youth at heart is right. something really appreciated in the country. However, one of the declarations, let me take you back to the age sure. summit of yeah. the ACP, was to create necessary conditions to transform ACP into an influential uh, in a global economy and political governance? Well, I mean, uh, this is um, another um, issue at the heart of the, the ACP that yeah. still holds on there. Uh, you know, particularly, you know, given the challenges that the, the ACP countries are confronting, you know, the issues of um, uh, education, the issue of environment, of the climate change, mm -hmm. um, and so many issues out there, uh, that I think um, you know, needs specific attention to be given to these countries. And, and to do that, I mean, the, under the new structure that I mentioned before, yes. it will give much opportunity for this partnership between these specific countries in specific regions with their partner, All right. the, the European countries. Of course, other countries will come um, uh, naturally, um, uh, eventually. Uh, and, and, and that, mm, uh, of course, uh, will, uh, you know, give a more chance of these countries to interact and also influence uh, the, the global decisions about what need to be done. Global uh, decisions, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. particularly in the in the, AC, in the context of ACP countries, um, uh, the, the strong desire of leaders, this of of the partners, to come together, work not only in terms of economic cooperation but also cooperation that um, extends to other. Areas of interest uh, of humankind, and particularly in the last in the three regions, I think um, is, is very important uh, to note. Uh, and, and and I'm sure that uh, uh, with the Kenyan presidency, mm -hmm. and uh, things will evolve and develop for for better. In the next three years, we're waiting yeah. to see what impact his leadership would have. However, just to you know, you comment on something I overheard sure. with somebody. You know, now the tourism sector in the festivities in the country and of course across the world, <laughs> people are traveling a lot. But somebody said, well, it's harder for uh, people within the region to travel across than it is for foreigners who are outside the region. Right. I don't know if you have these things also considered. You know, you're trying to work on trade, the global economy, right. but it seems <laughs> like there are a lot of barriers, you know, know. in between. I think, you know, um, well, the world is shrinking to a small village. Uh, that's the first thing to you know. 
Second, you know, uh, Africa has developed much. And Ac Africa has always been referred to as a, a continent of the future. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think, you know, being here myself, here uh, uh, in, in, um, in uh, uh, Kenya, Kenya yes. uh, uh, and, and, and seeing, you know, uh, the development that's been taking place here, uh, uh, the also the progress. Uh, and, and, and for example, in terms of communication development, I look at the internet speed. Oh. I, I was just amazed because, you know, in my country, here is 100 something Mbps, and in, in here, in my country, we wanted 10 Mbps per, uh, you know, and that uh, it just made a huge difference. Thank you. So I think, um, I think you know, um, being in that part of the world, in Asia, uh, w w um, which is also, you know, um, a promising um, economic um, uh, sort of like region, mm -hmm. um, I think, uh, you know, partnering with, with, with Africa, uh, particularly a country like Kenya, who has developed a lot, who has a tourism sector very well developed, which uh, I'm very unfortunate to have a chance to go and, 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 and witness myself, but I, I, I've seen and read through and the media. I think, you know, um, also looking at the fact that, you know, the amount of, um, uh, um, you know, um, income that uh -huh. you're making out of this, um, this uh, sector, uh, it, it's just very promising. Uh, and and, and, and uh, I think uh, more and more people in other parts of the world are looking into um, Africa. And I also heard that, you know, there's um, uh, coming, um, uh, upcoming um, uh, sort of like um, uh, conference or, or, or um, showcase or mm -hmm. um, of, 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 of um, uh, Africa's development uh, in, 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 in different parts of Russia, including in Rwanda, I think. Yes, yeah, speaking, speaking of which, before uh, that, we... That would be very promising. Yes. And, uh, yeah. yeah, because you've mm. mentioned Rwanda. I do not know if you are also familiar with the, the, an, an event that worked concurrently with the uh, ACP, right. uh, that is the Kusi Ideas Festival. And yeah. they were asking, <coughs> what is the future of Africa in 60 years? You've mentioned a lot about Africa. It's part of the region, uh, part, uh, part of the ACP. What do you think is the future? future of Africa in the next 60 years. And of course, we'll also mention the, the future. Of well, of um, I, 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 I think this is a very promising continent. Okay. A continent that has the, a lot to offer to the world, has, uh, is endowed with so much resources, so much potentials, so much um, you know, human capital, so much um, uh, developments that uh, can be, um, you know, um, uh, you know, made use you know, for the benefit, not only of Africa, but also the rest of the world. So, I mean, you're looking at Africa in the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years, uh, it, it looks like an, an endless, uh, you know, wave of um, uh, developments that um, w lies ahead as a mat, and, you know, it's it, it stretched at the moment, so <coughs> you just need to walk through. So, uh, I, I believe very much uh, that, um, uh, you know, so long as the countries in Africa are able to manage right. well their uh, resources, their development, and particularly their own countries, I um, believe that um, uh, in the future it will be one of the centers of the world. I want to bring you up to speed to our country today. We have the Building Bridges Report. If yeah. you've heard about it, having to talk to other politicians across. Yeah. And I saw a few diplomats in the ACP you know, summit saying that's a good initiative to harmonize people, to bring them together. The Building Bridges in initiative is good. However, I'll come out a bit strong now uh, on as much as these promising things you have mentioned are here. Do you, however, agree that there are issues with governance, politics also coming in as a hindrance to all these things and objectives that ACP has for the entire region? Well, um, I think uh, it's not an issue of a single country in the world. Okay. It's all countries have their own uh, internal problems. Um, uh, my country also has, mm -hmm. and we, uh, the government where I'm in, half of the government has not been sworn in because the president is, uh, uh, is not accepted to, uh, to swear in the, the half of members of the government for, for no reasons. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and also the fact that he comes from the opposition party has been uh, dubbed as one of the issues that might might, might have hindered, okay. might, might, might have actually um, the his uh, uh, reason to object uh, half members of the government. Um, uh, uh, but this part of the democratic process, mm -hmm. um, and, and I think I believe that um, you know no matter um, how serious, how bad um, the developments, um, uh, polit politic particular the political development in a country, so long as all um, you know um, who are actually a part of this you know, uh, family of country uh, stick to the ideals of the particular the foundation of the country, the mm -hmm. philosoph philosophy in which the country was founded, the constitution. Uh, I believe that things, issues can be solved. Mm 
mm -hmm. I, uh, and you know, you looking at your able leadership uh, that you have, uh, I, I, I pretty much believe that um, uh, he can um, you know, manage it well. But the important thing, uh, learning from our experiences, mm -hmm. because we are a country that have only come out of conflict for so many years, uh, colonized, colonization and so on, which of course you had, Yes. Uh, but ours is more recent. Uh, I think you know, uh, leadership, strong leadership is, 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 is what I think we can um, invest on. Second is um, inclusive, All right. um, inclusiveness, inclusivity um, uh, in terms of development, uh, of democracy, of, of economic development, and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, and third, of course, uh, provided a space for a dialogue. dialogue. Uh, it's the most important thing. And, and I believe you know, and Kenya has so much experience to, to share with us in the world. And I believe um, these are issues that um, um, happening um, as uh, one walks along uh, down the road, but you know it will eventually, so it will eventually, you know, um, uh, end up in a place where you think is good for all. So this is actually a process. It's yeah. called trusting the process. It's a process. Now, as we conclude, however, because you're here to talk solely about the ACP, this is just the ninth summit. Right. What is the future for ACP? Do well, we expect more? Uh, well, it's the, uh, this is the um, only chance that we have ever uh, re able to revise the. First declaration made. Yes. There will be s there will be many uh, re revisions in the future, so um, I believe that uh, the road still lie ahead. Uh, I think we all have hope. Mm -hmm. With hope, we can be there. All right. Well, I, 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 when you say there's hope, all through we have, you know, heard from Dr. Dinosio. Dino he has mentioned it's promising. There is hope. We can integrate, we can work on things. Everything that's happening in particular countries are things that are experienced in each country. However, this union is building a certain, you know, um, I don't know how to call it, a bond that will ensure yeah, that bridge. none of each yeah. uh, remains behind. Right. Uh, well, a lot of Kenyans are still looking forward to hearing more from you and that you will visit more of, uh, you know, Kenya. And we're also looking forward to the next summit yep. to just see what has been achieved and what Thank has not been much. achieved. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much. It's for been an honor. Here. It's been an honor to be, a, pl a privilege to be in Kenya. And hope to come back because I still, um, you still owe me uh, one thing. You haven't showed me the safari uh, parks yet. <laughs> you haven't visited the safari park? <laughs> I haven't. There uh, is actually one in, <laughs> Oh, uh, you actually a, passed it along thicker. No, thicker I think road. they said uh, that's because of the rain and and because of, we're, we're stuck at the, the conference, um, you know, venue all the time. So we think I, I promise I'll come back next time for that. Mm -hmm. But we have a lot of reserves anyway. And like I mentioned, it's a tourism time. Sure. So if you have more time in Kenya, then will. we'll say um, Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> well, in that uh, same breath, uh, of course, appreciating the different regions and heads of state, including Dr. Dinosio Babo Suarez, who, of course, graced the ACP 9th Summit. Allow me to take this short break. We'll come back with the latest in the world of sports.